I don't know if I'm gonna solve this. I'm a little scared. Okay, welcome back everyone. So, uh, we have a compass and builder construction problem. So here, you have um, you have some given ratio k, which will we'll say for convenience that there's like a one to k segment given to you so that you can access the whatever length it is. And you want to construct a rectangle with aspect ratio one to k, given one point on each of its four sides. So like point, 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 or something like that. Yeah, I assume the ratio is geometrically given because if it's not, then you can take any non-constructible ratio and it's not possible. Um, not a lot to go off of. So in general, um, what you really want is sort of an angle. So... Well, I think you definitely maybe start by doing the following. We're, we're going to start by constructing these four semicircles, all right? So you you know each of these things you can draw a semicircle in it. So it's sort of once you pick one of the points, it'll uniquely determine the rest of them. Um, all right, that's fine. Are the points random on the sides? Yeah, I think you are not given any information. So they, they should be random. So how can I control ratios? It's like you have a point. I imagine like I have like a variable point here or something. And as I move it, the, the ratio that I get will change in a certain way. So there's a dumb thing, which I think in principle, like you know this length, you know this length, you know this length or something, and then I also know this angle and this angle. So on paper, um, you know, you could compute what is the angle theta for which a certain trig equation is true because you can compute all the lengths in terms of theta and you solve for theta and it'll be some constructible quantity because you sh um, Do you have extra information? I don't think so. Is that true? No, I, I don't think there's any extra. That's kind of bad though. We're not going to do it. We probably don't want to do that. Um... Is four points not sufficient to reconstruct a rectangle? No, the way you see it is um, you can... If you have four points, you can draw a locus of rectangles to them by... You just pick the angle of the lines. That's basically what you do. You pick two per uh, perpendicular ruling for one pair and perpendicular ruling for the other pair. I think Noella has it already, huh? No ratio of projection, AC. Yeah, 
Okay, okay. Um, so let's grab the semicircles. Um, So if I pick a line through here, I see. Okay, so you, this length is known, this length is known, and Okay, man, that, that'll probably work, yeah. So the point is that the width of the rectangle, if I pick L and M as the directions, let's call this one L, this one M, this length is equal to the BD times the sine of the angle from, sorry, cosine. of the BD to M, and this this length will be equal to AC times the cosine of the line AC to L. I should have reached, whatever. So this is equal to the BD times sine of BD over L or whatever. So you know BD, you know AC. The ratio between them is um, <laughs> is area dot product projection. Yeah. You're too zoomed in for us. Oh, oh, I really zoomed in. Uh. So yeah, you'd like <laughs> this is kind of jumbled, isn't it? B prime D equals. So yeah, there's like B prime. So you, you scale by k or whatever. It's k. So you want an L such that the what what do I want? Ah. <laughs> uh, Why do I have a sine in one place and a cosine in the other? That's not what I want, right? B 
Just get rid of it when you take the perp. This, the claim is that this is the direction of L. So AC times cosine Hey <laughs> on, oh bad. This something like this should work. I am really confusing myself. AC cos AC. Translating AC to BC prime makes the problem easier. Not. Wait, why are they? AC cos. Okay, I actually want to rotate AC instead. I think so. We're gonna rotate this so that we will, we get sine instead. So I'm gonna imagine like this is a prime. So we rotate it by ninety degrees. Okay, and now the blue line. So this one got scaled by K, this one got rotated by 90 degrees. Now you look at this thing, this is L, this and now the sine is equal. So A prime C sine A prime C L is definitely equal to B prime D sine B prime D L. Okay, how should it work? So this becomes A C cos ACL. This one is like K times BD times sine BDL. Okay. <laughs> I apparently am not very good with normal vectors. Alright. It's fine. <laughs> I did not work out any of the sides. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> I was like, but yeah, no, no, it's fine. Uh, right, so that will give you the direction of L. Once you have the direction of L, you're fine. I'm surprised the semicycles are completely useless, but maybe that's okay. Basically, the premise is that um, the condition you want is a certain projection equals some other projection, and if you fudge it, then you can make them both equal to this. Geometrically, that's what's happening. And if you use the language of dot product, it's probably easier to think about. All right, we did it. Mm -hmm.